In this video, I'll show you how to verify your previously purchased domain so that it can be used with G Suite. Remember, if you bought your domain as part of the sign-up process for G Suite for Education, you do not need to do this step. After you've signed up for G Suite for Education, you can access your admin console at admin.google.com by signing in with the credentials that you just created. When you first sign in, you will be asked to read the terms and conditions and press accept. You'll then be taken to the admin console where you can manage your G Suite environment. First, you'll need to click on the banner at the top that says click here to get started to verify your domain and complete setup. At this point, you may see one of two options. If you already have MX records configured for email on your previously purchased domain, you'll be prompted to verify domain ownership by uploading a TXT or text record to your DNS settings. And you can always choose to add MX records later if you wish to move your mail to Gmail. However, if no MX records are detected on your domain, you'll be prompted to add MX records in order to verify your domain. This will also allow you to receive mail in Gmail. And please note at this point that you can choose to add just an MX verification record to verify your domain without configuring the other MX records in order for users to receive email. Click on the button that says Activate. And read through the steps to continue. In this case, my previously purchased domain did not have MX records set up already. As you can see, where possible, we will detect who your domain host is, and we will give you specific instructions for you to go to your domain host and change the appropriate DNS records. In this case, it's asking me to go to Google Domains, which is where I have my domain registered, and add MX records in order to verify my domain. Once I've completed the appropriate steps for my domain host, I'll click Activate and Continue. The domain verification process may take a few minutes, and if there are any errors, you will get a notification with instructions on what to do next. But once it is successful, you will be taken to this welcome page with a success message that your domain is now verified. At this point, we will now review your application for G Suite for Education to verify that you are an educational institution. Please look out for an email from esupport at google.com with instructions on any next steps. For now, you are limited to 10 users, but you can create your organizational structure and organizational units and configure some settings in advance while you are in a trial state. Watch the next video to find out how.